Sagittarius, welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. This is Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you all the messages for the month of June. We are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. We're going to take a look. It's a general reading. We're going to look at love, career, finance, family, friends, health, whatever I get, I will relate to you and only pull from the reading what is actually applicable to your life. Let go of the rest, okay? Don't even think about it. And then check out your moon and rising sign. That will give you a really good idea of what to expect for the month of June. So, and I will pull from the romance angel deck as well as other oracle cards also. We have the High Priestess. Some of you are really coming into a place where you're feeling very open emotionally. We have the Queen of Cups. They're showing me where you really are getting in touch with the other side. You're opening up your third eye and growing and expanding. Some of you are learning new areas of spirituality where you're in... Uh, bringing in your intuition in it as well. Now for another group, this is about you really opening up emotionally, using your internal wisdom to know who to give your love to. We have the death card next to it, <clears throat> which is talking about an ending that took place between you and somebody else. And this ending may have been very difficult for you, uh, but for most of you, this ending actually was meant to be. It's victory, okay? When you ended the situation, the work, the job, the career, the person, the romantic partner, you felt very victorious because there may, like I said, there may have been some turmoil associated with it. You know, the, the death card can be an ending, and for every ending, there's a brand new beginning, right? But what, and that's what's making you feel victorious. I'm going to end this, I'm not doing this anymore, and I'm moving forward. Yay! <laughs> we like that, right? I do that with my Captain Love Bug. Yay! And he gets super excited. We also have, you guys, the judgment card. So the universe is going to bring this person back into your life or somebody around you. It doesn't mean it's romance, okay? But you do have somebody that you know returning, and they may live at a distance from you, most definitely. But the universe is saying you're getting ready to complete an actual cycle in your life. And this year, and when you listen to your moon and rising, you might hear the speech again. From the beginning of this year, this is the age of Aquarius. This is about people reflecting on what they need to fix within themselves, blockages, removing those blockages. So over the last six months, and remember Pisces, when the moon was in Pisces, it was awful. Well, that's kind of what's going on right now, okay? So some of you may be getting it a little bit hard over the next few weeks, few weeks. Yeah. Um, but it's all meant for you to reflect within you so that you can be open to love, open to the world. And when I say open to the world, I mean, arms out, I'm here, but you're going to learn if you don't already know how, how to give and take, make sure that when you give, you get back, right? You don't just give, give, give. Now, Exactly. You were picking people, situations, circumstances where you were giving more and the other was not. Some of you, this is all about a job. You were working really hard and I see you, you travel. Local travel. Almost looks like a traveling nurse, but I don't think that's what it is because they travel far. Whatever you're doing, you travel. And they are not paying you what you're worth. So the universe is saying it's important for you to use your intuition because this is deception, right? When we tap into our intuition, okay, you'll know. You'll have that feeling, that feeling coming from within you. Are they kind of screwing me? And they are. They are. You already know it. You already are very well aware of it. 
Some of you have a job opportunity coming back around. Now, this could be a position in your company where they're going to extend the offer to you again in the same company you're with. And for another group of you, this is, this is an old company. You haven't been there for a while. They're going to ask you to come back and they want to... Okay, the start card. They want to heal what took place before. They want to fix it. Some of you, this is what you were destined to do, most definitely. And it's going to make you feel very victorious. It's about transformation in your career. For another group of you, this is all about a romance, where the two of you may have not been on the same page at all. There was, They didn't tell you how they felt about you. They literally kept you in the dark where you did not know what to do, what decision to make, and you ended it. You said, that's it, I know my value, I know who I am, if you don't like me, it's okay, but I'm moving forward. Well, they're coming back because they see you as the person they were destined to be with. Now, the star card, much like this card, this is an ending to allow a new beginning, to bring the new in. But this is also about a transformation, okay? Spiritual transformation, and so is this. The star card, it's about hope, it's about faith, it's about healing. It's also about what we ask for. And I hope if it's romance, you're asking for the life partner, the one I'm meant to be with. Not your soulmate, not your twin, the one you're meant to be with because they trigger us to fix us to get ready for this. You've got a brand new person coming in. Some of you, it is a person from the past who wanna come in and open up and they do wanna share. So you're gonna be, yeah, they're coming in with an apology, okay? And they do want to explain what happened between the two of you. They are at a different level in their life. They may have been feeling like beneath you, although they could have been acting like they were better than you. They actually were feeling like they were subpar to you. And they're gonna come in and they're gonna tell you that. It's like, why would you pick me, right? Why would you do that? And it's gonna make you feel victorious. It's also gonna make them feel victorious. You have the six of wands. Now, for another group of you, your career may be in the spotlight. We're talking about uh, being an actual star, being in the public eye, somehow, some way. You were destined to do this, and you may have had a lot of fear of moving forward into this. The universe is saying, don't, don't be afraid. Make the decision. If there's something you need to know, do the research, make the phone calls, look on the, on, on, on the line, <laughs> look on the line, look into it because it's going to lead you to feeling very good about accepting this opportunity. A commercial, it looks like a commercial. So <clears throat> you may have be offered a commercial, take it. Don't sabotage you, don't hold back. Open up and be who you're meant to be, okay? Because the universe is saying, yeah, don't sabotage it. Five of Swords, this is the mental negative stuff that we ick, that we have going on and on and on in our heads. For another group, this is about the other person where they sabotage that relationship by, by the um, deceit by not coming clean, by not opening up. And you ended it, but they sabotaged it. And it can be vice versa, it could have been you. Either which way, whether you did it or they did it, there is an opportunity to discuss it and get some clarity out of it. For some of you, they're still gonna be in a, in a very um, combative stage. It's like they've healed, but not quite enough. And you're going to recognize that. Use your intuition because this person, whatever decision you make, is all about you celebrating. For those of you where it's the job, celebrate, okay? Step out into the social spotlight. And speaking of which, you've been through a lot and you're getting ready to start a new chapter in your life. So you're feeling really good. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is feeling like they have all the abundance, everything they need. 
they just don't have love. That's why she's like, I always say, oh, give me, give me love, give me love. So this person is ready for love on every level. And you need to get out there. You need to socialize. You need to put yourself in the spotlight. It's time. Get your sexy groove on. It's spring. Get out there. Because when you do, I see two new people coming into this group where you're going to date somebody, but one of them is really going to stand out in your mind. This is somebody who could be very much like you, a fire sign. But most definitely, they're very passionate about life overall in general. And they're going to want to go slow. Um, not as slow as like a, an earth sign. But they're going to want to go slow because they really are going to like you. And it can be vice versa where you want to create some kind of a foundation. Because I like you. I don't want to jump into bed with you. I want to get to know you. You're going to meet them in a social setting. Okay. It looks like it's a bar pub. Mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, wood, woodsy on the wall. So it looks like it has logs. It, it's very rustic. Let's use that verbiage. <laughs> rustic. Uh, look to it. This person is going to be lovely. And for another group of you, this is that other person coming back. Yep. So I'm going to pull an advice card for you. This is for each and every one of you in whatever area of your life. It will make sense to you. So let me pull this for you real quick and then I'll pull your romance in your card and whispers of love. Okay, so what they have for you is judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. That's exactly what this person is coming in to do because remember, judgment, okay? So the universe is saying, don't judge them or allow them to judge you. Understand and really open and expand your mind and use your intuition, okay? Trust your gut because whatever growth this person has gone through is going to be very significant. You should be able to see it. If they still have one, two, or three issues that they need to work out, don't judge them. Allow them to fix it while the two of you either work together to grow together or not, but don't judge in a negative way, right? So let's take a look at your romance angel cards. That's good, that's good, I like it very much. A lot of people I found, you know, I work with so many of you one-on-one, -on -one, and there's a lot of people that, when you're triggered by a soulmate, it's actually hurting us from wounding that has nothing directly to do with them, but it feels like them. And in a way, they're kind of like our whooping post. <laughs> Definitely how it feels. Because it's all about rising up and overcoming, right? So for those of you, I don't want to forget the um, June retreat, okay? So I'm running the special where it's a buy one, get one free. I've had some of you contact me where you don't have another person, but you'd like it at the discounted price. Send me an email, okay? Because I can match on my back end. I can take care of it on the back side. Send me an email, ascendingsoulsjourney at gmail.com. And if you'd like a reading right now, the 30 and 15 minute uh, readings are on sale, ascendingsoulsjourney.com. Give, you have two give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so again it's allowing to accept a person wherever they're at maybe they like you maybe they don't maybe they need something maybe they don't it doesn't matter it's allowing that person to be where they are, but the communication is what is uh, keeping the two of you together, where you can communicate. So give the relationship a chance. Give the new person a chance and give the old person an opportunity to speak. Doesn't mean you have to be with them, okay? You deserve to know what happened. You deserve it. 
So the next card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You guys, it's time to get out there and have a little mini vacay. It's time to go out there and do some traveling, okay? The universe is saying get out there, socialize, embrace, use your intuition, open up, and that would be the retreat. So for those of you planning to go, this is very much all about that. So you guys, I do hope you have an absolutely wonderful month. Thank you for watching and much love.